through terrible things in your life and you find yourself uh, shopping at really high-end uh, department stores, trying to close things, set them aside, and looking for the perfect, perfect scent to make you feel better. Um, and sometimes uh, that it goes a little bit too far and you start stalking an old man. So it's a, it's a poem about that. It's called Ham Sweat. <laughs> If I were to take a giant piece of ham and carve a man out of it, it would look like you. <laughs> your fingers sausage large, your brow a furrowed slab, your fat line nose plunging downward, your bulging mouth clown size. We meet outside your house, you ask me for something and I help, my hand ends up in yours and I am smitten with your smell. Your stench, your core, I want to bottle you and hand you over to perfumers so they can scrape your skin and share you. The world would become an apocalyptic porno. Hearts and hard-ons would burst, backs would break, pelvises would snap. The word lube would be removed from the dictionary. Your sublime scent has me trolling past your door, trying my dying to shake that meaty cut of a hand of yours just so I can Huff my palm all the way home. Somehow I'm too embarrassed to ask you if you're wearing something. But I think that the question, the answer to this question would only be found inside of your careful bungalow, behind your gleaming eyes, the retirement lawn, and your wife's spoon collection. But I keep coming back. You see, I'm neglecting my old haunts, my junky pleading at glass counters, my dressing up like a rag doll so they'll think I'm nouveau riche and hand over the samples. I even stopped going on the subway, though the days were stifled sweat. You see, I found my muse, and it's not Armani Ford me accurate Klein. Now, if only the stenched ham of a man were at least 30, 40 years younger. But how long does it take a man to smell like that? He must have spent his early years marinating in Aramis and Mountain Dew until he got into his current regime of wrapping his body in saddle leather, anointing his skin with the oil of bacon, and eating chunks of cedar. And then one day it happens, the end of Muse. A handshake too long and a five dollar bill is pressed into my palm. I politely decline, but then my wrist is grabbed so hard that the blood in my fingers stops. I wrench away from intoxicating odors. It's over. My loss is five senses large. My grief is wrapped up in aromatic memory like prosciutto. <laughs> Only five bucks? 